Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today is the 2nd of Jan. Can you believe that we are in 2024? I hope that everyone had a lovely Christmas, a fabulous new year. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has supported my channel in the past year or just in the past. All of the likes, the comments, the subscribes, any shares, just anything. I really do appreciate you guys. So thank you all so much. So I don't actually know what makeup look we're going to be going for today. I've just pulled some stuff out. So we're just going to crack on. So the first product that I've actually already used is my BFF brow gel from the beauty crop so we're going to swap over to a voiceover now if you guys don't mind so i'm taking the p louise base and just applying this all over the eyelid is my eye base i'm now taking a cream bronzer and just applying this through the crease this is just going to help add a little bit of a transition shade before i go in with the eyeshadow next up i'm taking the huda beauty light nude palette and i'm just starting with this shade here just running that through the crease this shade essentially just made sure that the cream bronzer was all nice and set it's such a beautiful color as well i love how light and nude and pretty all of these shades are and just nice and soft I then went into a bit more of a transition shade and again just run that through the crease and also applied a little bit to the outer corner of my eyes as well. Next up I'm taking this Moir shade and just applying this through the crease and also the outer corner of my eye. The darker the shadow, the lower down and the closer to the crease that I'm applying it, just so you get a really nice soft blend and everything just blends really nicely. So this shade you can see that I am blending it a little bit lower down than the other lighter shades. Next up, I'm taking this cream eyeshadow from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Rival, and I'm applying this to the first and second third of my eye, and I'm using my finger just because I feel like it works so much better when you use your finger to apply this sort of shadow. I've just sped this little bit up just so you guys can see the full process of how I do my liner. So I'm using the Maybelline Master Ink Matte Liner, and I always start off just by drawing the general straight line on my eyes and then I go in with the wings. I believe I do have a winged liner tutorial up on my channel from a very long time ago. If I find it I will leave it linked down below for you guys just that will be a little bit more in depth of how I create my winged liner. I'm then going in with two coats of mascara. I'm also applying some to my lower lashes as well. I'm then just taking a hydrating primer. I think this one's called the number seven Lift and Illuminate Primer. Then for foundation, I went in with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and I just sped this bit up because I always find it looks really satisfying. I then used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 and I just applied this to anywhere that I wanted to highlight or add a little bit more coverage. So it's always on my T-zone and then the coverage under my eyes. This little brush from Real Techniques is so incredible. But then I did go in with a sponge just to get a little bit closer to my under eye just so I can make sure that that concealer was nice and blended. For pressed powder, I used the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the shade 102. And for my under eyes, I went in with the little powder puff that you get included in it. And then I was clearly too lazy just to get a normal brush. So did that all over my face. And you know what? It actually worked really nicely. So happy days. <laughs> for my bronzer, I'm using the Smashbox bronzer. You get it in like the little trio. And then I'm just applying this to where I always apply my bronzer. I like to add some onto my cheekbones. I always have it quite high as well just to lift up my cheekbones. And then I apply a little bit onto the temple and also my forehead as well. I then went in with the contour from the same palette and then also the blush from the same palette as well, but just the pink colour. I didn't mix them, usually I do, but yeah, I just thought the pink colour would complement the eye look for Really nicely and I always put a little bit on my nose as well and then just applying my highlighter everywhere I went in with the pixie glowy gossamer highlighter So I went in with a light pink lip liner. I think this one's from Primark and then for Lipstick I went in with Urban Decay Criminal and then a Soap and Glory lip gloss But I can't remember the name of it. I will have the name linked down below for you guys and that was the lips all done There we go 
so I've just curled my hair and added some lashes. I used the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're my favourite lashes ever. I used to use them all the time on clients just because they are so beautiful and I feel like they suit everyone's eye shape really nicely. I really like my hair curled at the moment. It just doesn't last very long and I need to learn how to curl the back of it because right now the back isn't curled it's like just natural which is like flicky and a bit weird but um you know what the front looks cute right now so it's fine i feel like this is like my style of makeup like a strong winged liner pink glittery or like just a glittery eye look and a nice pink lip and i feel very happy i feel so much better i love the colors on the eyes i feel like this eye look would look stunning all year round as well so i will leave everything that i've used today link down below for you guys to go and have a look at as well if you liked anything that i was using hopefully you guys are all having a lovely day and if you're not don't worry tomorrow is another day and it will get better and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye.